Good evening, YouTubers. Welcome to a video. This one I am extremely excited to bring to you, as this is my first official KD Dragon Ball Z statue. Now, I remember seeing this one years ago, back when I couldn't afford these things, and I knew this was one that I really wish I had. And by some stroke of luck, somebody... Uh, I think I responded to somebody looking for it, or I posted something myself saying, hey, does anybody have this for sale? And uh, the guy at KD said, hey, we had a couple left in our warehouse. Do you want one? I said, hell yeah. And so I got it, and it just arrived today. Uh, I already have it assembled, so this is more of a review rather than an unboxing. Um, the box comes with the KD typical fanfare. Um, this is one of their first statues, I believe. So there are a couple imperfections, but overall, I definitely like the piece. And luckily, nothing came broken or snapped. Uh, so let's take a look, ladies and gentlemen. And here we are. Have we figured out what it is yet? Dun 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 dun. Boom. Seventeen kicking off Jero's head. Look at that. It's so cool. So as you can see here, a lot of great work here. Let's start with some even the base things. There's the remote control. That 17 crushed. In the back, you have this capsule. This is a big piece here. Uh, a lot of wires that kind of connect to everything, which is cool. You kind of got like, a, you know, these, these things around it. I'm not going all the way. Too bad those don't light up. That would have been cool. But that goes all the way around. Come on this side. Very cool. Let's take a look at Jero. Nicely detailed. I do believe in the ad anime, his sleeves are a bit more yellow. So this must be going off the manga. But look at that. Look at Jero. Jero is just not having a good day. I throw his arm when he's fighting his piccolo. The blood effect is really cool. You can see in here. So, you know, I, I saw a couple of reviews and people were worried about how everything kind of connected and whatnot. So, it is a little, it's a little weird. There is a foot that's attached to the back of Jero, and I don't know if I'm going to get it in this view, but 17's foot connects right there. I don't know, you can't see it, but, so he connects right there. That's all he's supported by is his one peg. Uh, then you have this Jero piece here with that swoop which uh, connects to his ankle. Now, this did kind of take a little bit of wiggle to get in, so I'm not too worried about this falling down or anything. Take a look at 17. He looks great, as always. I love it. But one of the coolest features that I like is this light-up cell embryo. I think this is a cool little touch. I like it. Uh, now, uh, there are a couple small little nitpicks with this statue. So one of my main things that is, you'll see, it does kind of wiggle a little bit. Same thing with the top here. It doesn't sit all the way in. And even 17's uh, capsule, you'll see, nah, it doesn't move as much anymore. Maybe because I have the wires in. So maybe not. Maybe that correct it replaced. But, yep, this is, uh, this is really cool. I got number 158. Of 200. And uh, this is 1 6 scale. Uh, I dig it. Uh, I thought I was going to stay away from 1 6 scale, but uh, I like these kind of smaller things. Like I, I figure I. I find myself liking the uh, 1 4th scale as more like portraits. With statues, you know, something that is just a single character posing or doing something like, you know, a, a classic pose. Whereas if I see something that has, like, characters fighting, I kind of like the 1-6. One 1-6 six. One six is a perfect size for that without taking up too much of a space. Uh, you know, I have this thing on my floor now just because it's where my, my plug is. Um, but I would say this is probably about a foot and a half wide all the way around. But... Now, and I saw people post videos on YouTube where the blood, you know, this stuff was kind of snapped. So very lucky, very good packaging. And so being that this is one of their first statues, it's making me super excited to see Final Flash Vegeta, which unfortunately is being shipped back home to Connecticut. Um, 
And I just got a notification that my baby, great ape baby, had finally arrived in Connecticut. So at least I know when I get home, I'll have some statues to unpack and review. But uh, in the meantime, I think right now, the only other one that I'm waiting on uh, here for Dragon Ball is the massive Light Weapon Studio Broly. He is shipped. He's been shipped for over a month. So I'm hoping to hear something from in the next couple of weeks. Uh... Poor Android 17 and Jero is probably going to be boxed up within a week or two uh, to be shipped back home. Um, what else I got? Uh, hopefully the Tyrant from Resident Evil, the 11-inch uh, statue, should be arriving here. Um, so a couple of smaller things. But, uh, yeah, I'm very excited that this finally arrived. This is really, really cool. I, I'm, I'm digging this statue a lot. So... There you go, folks. So KD Collectibles, one six, uh, Android seventeen versus Doctor Giro. Dig it, awesome. And for those of you who wanted to see the box, there's the box. So there it is. <laughs> but put it right up there next to my Leon and Claire statue, and let it go. But those are the boxes I got to ship. <laughs> so that's gonna be a big one to ship out. But so that's it, folks. Let me know what you think about this one. This is kind of a kind of a rarity one. You don't see too, you don't see this one too often. As always, guys, share, like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you guys in a couple of weeks for Broly.